Hey there! I hope you enjoy this video um, painting a dotted mandala on a rock. I've already got a circle I painted for a, a while ago and I'm just going to base coat that in black and paint it black all over so the mandala will stand out nice and bright there. I'm just using a cheap acrylic black paint. There's no need to go and buy anything, you know, expensive. Um, you need some paper towel and a jar of water is handy. Um, yeah, so the aim is to, to try and use what you've got at home instead of having to buy, go out and buy stuff. I'm base coating it with a one inch sponge brush but you can use a normal paintbrush or whatever you like whatever you've got around the house so we're just going to give it a coat of black on the top you can let it dry and paint the bottom or you can finish it and paint the bottom after you've finished it's up to you So once the rocks dry, uh, I'll show you what we'll be using. Hopefully things you've got around the house. The sponge brush that I just used for the center dot, I'm going to use the end of the handle because it's a nice big one. Pencils are very handy. The rubber on the end of a pencil is a great size for dotting. And you get nice clean dots with those as well. Another idea is a pencil with the rubber on the end. I've stuck a nail in the end of it. You can stick a pen different size nails to get different size dots they're always handy as well and a sharpened pencil is great for nice fine dots a skewer a wooden skewer or a metal skewer doesn't matter it's got a nice fine point as well they're handy The end of paint brushes are great. There's all different sizes on the handles of the paint brushes. They're great for dotting as well. And here you can see a smaller to smaller end. It's a finer brush. So it's a smaller dot. And a stylus. These come in all different sizes. Um, there's one at each end of it and one smaller than the other but there's no need to go out and buy them if you don't need to this is another tool which has the metal balls on each end there's all different sizes and that one's handy for huge projects um, you'll need a cotton bud for mistakes and stuff ups it's they're easy to fix with a cotton bud dipped in water. So I'm just using some acrylic paints. I have aqua, ultramarine blue, a rose pink and a white. So for the first dot I'm just dipping in the white and putting a dot right in the center of the rock. Just make sure you hold the handle straight up upright so that's our first dot a 
Okay, I'm going to use the end of the paintbrush now with some blue and a dot at the top, a dot at the bottom, and then one each side. So you're starting with four dots. And it's good to dip in the paint every dot because that way you get the same size dot. Now we're going to do a dot in the middle of those ones until we've completed the circle. Now we're using the pink and we're doing a dot in the next row above the blue but in the center of the blue dots. So you can see there where it's right in the center of the blue above the blue. Just wipe the end of the brush with the paper towel, is always handy. Just to clean it up or to change colours, whatever. So now we're going to dot in the middle again, like we did with the blue, and fill it in with pink dots. That's another row completed. Now using the ultramarine blue and putting a dot, a bigger dot on the outside of the pink. But I'm not happy with that. So I just dipped my cotton bud in some water and just wipe it off. So don't panic if you stuff up <laughs> because you can fix anything. Now I'm dipping on the end of the rubber and I've mixed a bit of white with that blue to make it a softer colour. So one at the top, one at the bottom, and one each side. And then again, one in the middle. All the way round. So you can see the dots are getting bigger, well, they're bigger than the first couple of rows. But it's completely up to you. This is just a guide to show you, you know, some different ideas and things you can do. Change colours, change dots, whatever you want. It's all your design. Okay, now I'm doing a dot at the top of the blue but I'm not dipping in the paint so as you go down they get smaller as the paint runs as you run out of paint and less pressure as well just lightly dot till you get to the bottom so that's all in one go one side So a dot at the top and around one edge. Now I'll, we're doing the same. This time I'm using a sharpened, the sharpened pencil with 
some yellow. I don't think I had yellow in the palette, but I'm using yellow now. Just something to brighten it up a bit. I tend to use the same colours, blue, pink, purple. So I'm just adding some yellow for a change. So yeah, the, the dot at the top is the biggest and as you go down they get smaller so you don't dip in your paint on the way down. Easy peasy. At any time you want to stop the video, if I'm going too fast or going too slow, stop it, speed it up, fast forward, um, yeah, so you don't have to rush, just play it back. Now I've got the end of the rubber again and I've added some orange, and see that. And we're doing a big dot in the middle of the two blue dots in the middle of the little yellow border so just one dot of orange in each all the way around thing with mandalas you can just go on forever <laughs> I always do I have trouble knowing when to stop so you know you might get to a stage where you think that's enough instead of like because you can just keep adding more detail and more detail highlights um, but you don't have to like this is just an idea okay now I've made a bit of a mauve with blue and pink and a little bit of white to make a little uh, a purple color and on the end of the paintbrush we're just doing three dots above the yellow in between the orange dots And what I did do there was just dot in the paint once and then one each side. Now I'm using the same colour and dotting in the middle of those big blue ones we did. Just to give it a bit of a highlight, which makes it stand out nicely. Now on the end of the pencil, I've mixed a little bit of white in with the aqua to make a light blue and just dotting on the end of those little mauve ones that we just did, the purpley ones. These guys here are fun. I'm dotting at the bottom of the blue dot on the edge of the white so 
you put the dot right at the bottom. They call that a peacock dot, which always look nice. And that's using the light blue as well. Now I've decided to fill in the little blue dots and go all the way around. That looks much better. This is just random what I'm doing. I have no plan. Very colourful. As I was saying, you could stop here if you like. Or you can keep going. Now we're doing a yellow dot. Now somehow the video stopped with this. On the end of the pencil. The yellow dot all the way round. But then with the yellow dot we did one underneath. And one underneath so they got smaller and smaller now an orange dot in the middle with the rubber also with those yellow ones you could do one big yellow dot then one underneath then one underneath all in one go if you want that way you don't have to dip Now on the end of the pencil I've dipped in some white and I'm just putting tiny little dots in the middle of the light blue ones. Getting very detailed. Don't forget to stop the video if I'm going too fast. Okay, now I have the end of the brush and just mixed a little bit of white in the pink colour and just dotting on those purple ones we did. and also a yellow dot on the orange ones. Okay. 
with that same color pink I'm just doing a dot down below that blue one on top of the purple like a peacock one like we did in the center which gives it a nice highlight now with the end of the pencil some white and we're dotting on the row of pink ones outside the blue ones just tiny dots all the way around at the bottom again like a peacock dot and now we're going around filling in around those blue ones you can see how it just lifts it and brings it out makes so much difference now we're doing a white dot on the end of the rubber on the outside row between the yellow just above the lacy bit that we've done with the tiny dots This is where you need to be careful not to stick your hand in it as you're turning it round. I do that a fair bit, but that's where the cotton bud comes in handy. You can just fix it up. Now, the little blue dots at the bottom, like the peacock, peacock dots again. With that light pink we made, I'm just dotting at the end of the fine brush with the handle around that white center in between the blue ones. Fixing the stuff up, put my finger in it. Okay, now we're using the end of the skewer or something fine just dipping in the white put it on and drag it so they're light little comma strokes they're easy to get the hang of and on each side of those white dots on the outside so just place it down and flick it out to the right on that side out to the left on the other side at the bottom there we go I think I'm going to stop now <laughs> Yep, that'll do. I got carried away enough. I hope, hope you enjoyed it. And have
had fun. I'll see you next time. Love and peace. Bye.